Super Bashful Girl. My name is Ashley Lachey, and welcome. It's been a while. It's been, you know, it's been a few weeks, but I am back with a new video. And as you can see, I'm doing two things. I'm gonna show you what's in my bags, which are right here behind me or beside me. And I'm gonna give you five tips um, for being more confident with yourself. So, um, what, am I, what am I trying to say? If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. That helps me out a lot. I do dance videos, um, vlog, um, spoken word is coming. thinking about doing some fashion videos I don't know but um, I guess guys just let me know if you guys want to see something like that so anyway five tips to be confident with more confident with yourself so this is something that I've and I think everybody has kind of struggled with when it comes to um, life you know finding your confidence and finding um, that level of self-esteem where you don't feel, you know, intimidated or you don't feel less than or not worthy. And I think it's something that we, something that kind of goes up and down all the time. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's not something that, at least in my opinion, opinion, I don't think it's something that consistently stays level every single day of the year. So sometimes you have to like talk to yourself. You know, sometimes you have to grab yourself by the roots and be like girl what is you doing calm down you got this you got it there's no reason for you to feel like you're feeling right now okay so number five I'm sorry I guess we'll start with number five yeah we'll start with number five so number five is I got my little notes right here remember that we are all in this together we are all living this life together equally so there's no reason for anybody to feel as if someone else is better than them. You know what I mean? Sometimes we get in this state of mind where someone who has seems to have more than we have is better than us or is doing more than us is better than us. So we feel um, intimidated and we feel less confident in ourselves and in our own abilities. So you have to remember that we are all human we all bleed the same red and there's no reason for you to you know feel as if you can't talk to your boss or you can't talk to your supervisor or your idol or you know someone you look up to on a level basis because you can we're all in this together all right so that's number five now let's get to my purse so I have this Valoa Valoa voluptuous purse from Aldo, Aldo, Aldo. I got this online, I got this on sale, boo boo, because this thing was about $55 before I got it, but I got it for like 30 bucks. And I love this purse. Like usually I, um, I have a lot of purses and usually I switch them out after like a couple of months, I'm just like over it. But this purse I've had for, for longer than usual. So, it's like a backpack. Right? But you can also like pull the straps up and it becomes like a little, you know, little shoulder thing. Yeah. So I don't know what's in my purse. <laughs> it changes by the day. So we're just gonna kind of go through. Okay, so I have, ooh, y'all, poopery. I'm sorry. Poopery. If you know anything about poopery, Look, this will save your reputation, honey. It will. We all have those days. We, you know, we craving tacos for lunch. We know we shouldn't be having tacos for lunch because we know what's gonna happen after we eat those tacos. This will save your life, honey. You put a couple sprays in the toilet bowl before you come down, <laughs> before you release and the only thing you smell is the scent. It works, it works. It's worth all the money. This is like, what, I don't know, $15? $10 or $15? It's worth it. Get it, okay? So I got poopery, and I have a little compact mirror. I got this from Walgreens or something. 
compact mirror. I have my iPhone charger cord, whatever. Can't leave the house without this. Nothing like being out and about and your phone go dead. How am I gonna take these selfies, baby? How am I gonna how am I gonna text whoever whoever if your phone is dead? Make sure you have your um your cord and your purse. And then what do I got? I got this J.R. Watkins Shea Butter Hand Cream. It's lemon. Lemon. Lemon cream. This smells so good. And I hate ashy hands. Like I my hands are always. I hate that greedy feel, like after you use the restroom and you wash your hands and your hands are like extra dry. I hate that, I hate that. So I have this in my purse at all times. I'm sorry, it's not like, you can get this on Amazon. I got this from Amazon. So I got that. And then I have my Soul Serum. So this is for my honeys, my ladies who wear heels every day. I wear heels to work pretty much every day. And sometimes, I have good heel days and bad heel days, but I wear the same heels. So some days my feet hurt, and some days they, they don't. I don't understand why. And the, So the days that they do hurt, whatever area of my foot that hurts, I just put like two squirts of this on that spot, and boom, the pain is gone. <laughs> it's gone! <laughs> Soul Serum, S-O-L-E-S-E-R-U-M. It's worth it, it works, it works. I got that. I got a little nail thing. Yeah. Like that. Buff file, all that stuff. I have a straw. <laughs> I have a stainless steel straw. I guess I put this in here because at work we have like sodas, like canned sodas, and I don't always like to drink out the top of the soda, so I have a little straw for that. I got my wallet. This is a little clear wallet from Urban Outfitters that I got. Um, so yeah, I got my money. I got my sorry for bachelor gold cards and credit cards and all that stuff is in here too. I'm not gonna show you that. I know you was waiting. Ain't no money on it. <laughs> Ain't no money on it. Um, what else I got? My nail glue, because these are pressing my finger. These are press on nails, boo. Yes, they are. $7.99 from Walgreens. They pop off. Sometimes they may they might hit you in the face. I might be hey, talking my little and they might hit you in the face, and I'm sorry if that happens. So I got to keep my glue handy. Just in case I find that nail that flew off. How we get down. Um, what else? I got a peppermint. Yep. I got a nail clipper. I have this Glossier. I don't know if you can see it. Glossier lip balm that I got in my last Ipsy bag. I love this. I'm gonna have to buy the bigger version. I don't know if it comes in a bigger version, but this is um the coconutbalm.com. I got that, and then I got a lot of other like lip stuff in here. Cause like every morning I go, every morning I decide what lip color I'm gonna wear, and they all just end up piling up in my purse. So I have this like matte lip color by Melo. I got Maybelline's new Super Stay Matte Ink in this color, which is I like this color a lot. It's called Fighter 75. That I got this lippy by Bang Beauty. This girl. I got this other Maybelline color, some matte as well, called Almond Rose. It's like a bright little pink matte color. Got that. I got that Fenty Beauty Boo. Yes. And single. I've used it all. Like it's no more. <laughs> it's like it 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 won't turn anymore. But it's still a little bit in here, so I'm, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it until I buy another one. I'm gonna get the same color, because I really love this color. And then I have an eyeliner from Absolute New York. Is that what this is? Yeah. That. I got a nail file, crystal nail file. I got a 
NYX lip liner. Um, I don't know what color this is. Oh, 827 Never. I love this. I love this. Anyone have any advice when it comes to like sharpening your nail? I'm not a nail. Your lip color pencils. Like every time I get a sharpener, I end up sharpening it too low. The, the, um, the stuff pops out like the nail. Why do I keep saying nail? The lip color pops out, like crumbles off, and I'm sharpening it again, then it crumbles off, so I don't know. And then I also have this, oh, I didn't know I had this in here. Sex Kitten um, Eyeliner by Tarte. And then another Maybelline color, purple, called Brazenberry. So that's what I got in there. And I think that's all I got up in here, y'all. Oh wait, one more thing. I have this um, Toka Cleopatra perfume. It smells so good. I got that. And that's all that's in my bag. But I have one more bag because I take an additional bag to work and I'll explain that in a minute. But let's go on with number four. Number four, choose to laugh, choose to not be embarrassed or afraid of making mistakes, okay? Sometimes embarrassment, the fear of embarrassment can consume you and it will consume you so much that you may not do something that you wanna do. You may not take on an opportunity that you wanna pursue because you feel like you're gonna fail and you feel like you might be embarrassed stop it it's okay it's okay to be embarrassed it's okay to feel that feeling but you have to catch yourself the moment that feeling starts and remember that again number five we're all in this together we've all been embarrassed we've all been there before it's a matter of choosing to not be afraid and choosing to go forward in your pursuits and just be confident regardless of um, maybe possibly being uncertain or unsure. So number four is choose to laugh, choose to not be embarrassed, and choose to not be afraid of making mistakes because we, we are, we're all gonna make mistakes. And if the next person can't understand that, then I don't know what to tell them, okay? That's number four. That's number four. Oh, I forgot I have this too. In my purse. This is a little. I wear glasses. I am an avid glass wearer. Um, not really by choice because I need them, but I've decided that if I'm gonna wear them, boo, I'm gonna wear them. I got these from WarbyParker.com, and they came with this cute little. Um, what do you call it? Eyeglass wiper. Off the dirt and dust and all that stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much all that's in that bag. So, let's go into this bag. So, this is my little Victoria's Secret heavy bag that um, a co worker of mine actually gave this to me because um, she didn't need it. So, I was like, she was like, Do you want this? yes so I take this bag I usually take this bag every day to work because I, at lunch I like to eat but I also may like get on my laptop and my laptop is in here I may read I have like a magazine and all kinds of other stuff in here so I'm gonna go through that but first before I go through this bag let's go on with number three of how to be more confident in yourself in yourself in your Start doing whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> Start doing whatever the fuck you want. Do it. Just do it. 
Because the moment you do it, the moment you do that one thing that you thought you couldn't do, you never know the opportunities that'll come from that. You know, so just do what you want to do. Why not? Start doing whatever the fuck that you want to do. Stop putting off, putting it off. Stop making excuses. Um, just do it. What do you have to lose? Well, sometimes you may have to think about that. Because sometimes you might have some stuff you might, might need to lose that you might be losing. But weigh your, weigh your options, okay? Make a pros and cons list. But just start doing what you want to do. Stop letting doubt consume you. It's the train. <laughs> stop allowing, like I said, stop allowing doubt to consume you. And just start doing what it is that you want to do. Just, just do it. Just do it. Please do it. Please stop talking about it. I'm your friend and I'm tired of hearing about it. I want you to just go do it. Please just go do it. Let me see what it is you keep talking about. you do it the more you'll become more confident in that thing that you do okay so that was number three let's get on into my bag so the first thing in my bag is I actually just got this for work it's like a this little clipboard but it's also like a compartment it has a it's a compartment clipboard so as I have like papers and things that I have to put there's a lot of papers and things that I need I work in an office I'm a leasing consultant so we have like um, I may have a calendar and specials and all kinds of emails and stuff like that that I may want to look at so I figured this would be cool and it has a little compartment for your pins so I got that anyway and I got my laptop up in her I got my MacBook Air in here like I said I might use this on my lunch break and um, type some things up Right now I'm trying to type up my poetry and something with my poetry is coming soon. So keep an eye out, keep an ear out for that. So yeah, I got my laptop. I have my, oh, I have my agenda, 2018 agenda with a little pen here. I got this from bando.com, B-A-N-D-O.com. They have some of the cutest stuff a girl could want like they have some of the cutest little accessories for your house they have cute little earrings agendas stationary pins I if I could buy that whole site if I could buy everything on that site I'd be happy just give me one of everything one of everything bando.com holla at your girl holla at your, holla at your girl so yeah I use this every day go in I have little to-do lists every day. I'll go in and check off everything I've done and makes you feel accomplished. So yeah, agenda. Everyone needs an agenda. Um, and I got my book that I'm reading, the the astonishing color of after. I actually am um, signed up on bookofthemonth.com. So every month I get a new book. I choose a book and then they mail it out. So this is um, what book is this? This is my March book. But they come so fast. Like I have like three books that I'm, have, I'm reading this and another book. But I have like two other books that I haven't even had a chance to finish because they send them so fast. So, but I love it. I love it. Got that. I got some extra nails in case these pop off. In case they pop off. I got those. Um, tummy talks capsules from Protein World bloating, all that stuff that you feel after you eat. Take one of these before, you'll be good to go. It's nothing like wearing some pants in the morning and they fit, and then by 12 o'clock they don't fit. <laughs> they don't fit anymore after that lunch, after that bagel you had. Yes, these come in handy. Protein World, holla at your girl. <laughs> Got that. Um, what else? Oh, L, I just got this uh, April issue with Kim K on the cover. She doing it, she doing it, I'm liking it. She banging, the body banging, I must say. Mm -hmm. 
So I might look at this on my lunch break, whatever. So, got that. And some random papers that I don't really know what all this is. I think it's a bill. I got a checkbook in here. Excuse me. I have my papers because I'm going to the dentist on the 13th and I can, mom, it's just, this is the third time my mom has called me, y'all. Um, <laughs> I have to fill out these papers as a new patient, so I went ahead and printed them out. One moment. Are you home? Are you all locked in? Yes. This woman is crazy. She loves me too much. Is it is it possible to love somebody too much? You love me too much. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So yes, guys, those are my bags. That's what I have in my bag. Oh, I do have my. I have a Bluetooth um, headphones, and these are the. This is the cord to charge it. Got that in there too. So yeah, those are my bags. And let's go on to number two of how to be more confident in yourself, in yourself. Now, I always thought this was a little ridiculous, but it works. So number two is recite positive affirmations to yourself consciously. The moment that you feel like you are kind of losing touch with who you are, you know, you're losing touch with what you can do and what you're capable, capable of doing. Recite to yourself a positive affirmation. Sometimes I have to catch myself like, Ashley, why are you tripping? You got this, girl. You know this. Why are you making it, why are you making yourself feel like you don't know what you're doing? Okay? Sometimes you have to think, you have to pull yourself up like this and be like, girl. Get it together. I really have to do that to myself sometimes in my mind. And in my mind, I'm really choking myself and saying, girl, get your life together immediately. Okay? But yeah, re recite positive affirmations to yourself consciously. And it really works. I'm telling you, it really does work. Um, if you allow it to and if you believe that it's going to work. Because if you're just seeing it and don't believe it, it's not going to work. So that's number two. Now for number one. Number one. Number one is the most important out of them all. Well, I won't say that. <laughs> but it's important. So number one is start not giving a fuck. Start not giving a fuck. The moment you start not caring, things will change for you. Confidence level will go ra ta 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 da 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 will go up. Confidence level will go up if you just start. If you get out of, sometimes you have to exit your mind in order to move forward in life and move forward with whatever it is that you're trying to do. Start not giving a fuck. Start not giving a fuck what people say. Start not giving a fuck what might happen and just do it and be, be who you are. So anyway, this video is kind of long. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up because that helps me out a lot. And also make sure you subscribe. And if you guys want to know when I post a new video, um, just hit that little bell thing and you'll get notified. So <laughs> you'll get a notification when Ashley Lachey posts another video. How dazzling. Oh, that's my new word now. You're so dazzling. <laughs> anyway, um, again, I'm Ashley Lachey. And hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And let me know what you think. Like, let me know if you have any um, tips on how to be more confident. And maybe we'll do a part two. Anyway, thank you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.